Well, good morning, everybody. Greetings to you all on this. Uh, it's uh, cold. I guess it's not cold. It's uh, rainy, uh, not even really chilly. It's in the 50s right now, so that's not too bad. Uh, but uh, it's a little wet out there today. But hopefully our power up finds you well. Uh, and look forward to what uh, what we're studying uh, uh, today. Uh, we are in the book of Job. Uh, and if you'd care to join me there, we'd love to have you. Uh, and we're going to pick up where we left off here in the book of Job. We finished up Proverbs on Monday, uh, and that was just a tremendous study as we uh, went through the book of Proverbs over the last several months. Uh, and now we're going to jump into the book of Job uh, and excited about that. I want to encourage you, if you haven't already done so and you've just now gotten on, be sure to like our, our, our video, be sure and share it. Uh, that would be great uh, as well, and I would love to have your comments on there uh, as well. Uh, we uh, began this yesterday looking at Job. We noted Job's character. Uh, we noted uh, uh, he was a man that was perfect, upright, one that feared God and eschewed evil. Uh, and just a tremendous individual uh, that loved the Lord, wanted to do what was right, uh, hated evil, uh, and uh, he strived to do his best to live for the Lord. Now, we're going to jump into verse number two. Uh, and I want to, um, well, let's, uh, let's read uh, verses two, three, and four, and then we'll make a few comments, and then we'll see if we can jump into verse number five. As I said, uh, as we look into this, this is going to, we're going to kind of start off a little bit, uh, going a little slow through this because there's just so much packed into these first two chapters, first couple chapters, I guess, uh, and and remaining as the, uh, as the focus uh, at times is on the Lord as well. We'll look at that uh, and look forward to it. So let's look, verse number two. Uh, remember, speaking of Job here. And there were born unto him seven sons and three daughters. His substance also was 7,000 sheep and 3,000 camels and 500 yoke of oxen and 500 she-asses and a very great household. So that this man was the greatest of all the men of the east. Uh, and his sons went and feasted in their houses every one his day and sent and called for th their three sisters to eat and to drink with them. And so <coughs> we have uh, here for Job, uh, man, he has been blessed incredibly. Uh, and he's uh, he was the greatest of all the men of the East. We see here in verse number three, he's got, uh, you look at his, at, at his family, He's got a tremendous family. He's got seven sons. He's got three daughters. Uh, and so God has blessed his family. Uh, God has blessed his possessions. He's a very wealthy man as well. Uh, we see the 7,000 sheep, the 3,000 camels, 500 oxen, 500 asses, and, and a great household. So, man, he has got so much. But, uh, but I want you to know what's important here. Uh, look... If you look back, verse number one, and then into verse numbers two, three, and four, uh, I don't think it's an accident that God, uh, and we see that the, the human penman under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, uh, mentioned not Job's family, mentioned not Job's wealth, uh, but rather mentioned Job's character first. Uh, and, and I don't think that's an accident. You know, in, in our world today, and really in the worldly philosophy, uh, man, there is so much focus on things, on possession, on money, uh, that, and, and we're to do everything we can, this is what the world would tell us, uh, to, to get all that we can and to chase that almighty uh, dollar or whatever the financial unit is that, uh, that is used wherever you're at. Uh, and, and that seems to be the focus. Uh, but as we consider Job, Job, who was the greatest man in the East, we find that he was a man of impeccable character first. He was a man that loved God first. Uh, and, you know, God blessed him with a great family, with uh, uh, many possessions and a great household. Now, uh, let me say this. Our God is in the blessing business. Uh, and it doesn't mean that we're always going to be blessed in the same way. Uh, not everybody's blessed in the area of finances. Not everybody's blessed in the area of a great house. And, uh, and sometimes the, the struggle is real in regards to families. I get that and, 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 and people and relationships and all of that. But, but there's one thing for sure that we can do. You can 
Okay, regardless of your station in life, regardless of how much money you have, the greatness of your household, regardless of your family, regardless of your upbringing, whatever it is, you can be a person that has impeccable character, uh, that, that is uh, perfect, that is, and we don't, in perfect, we don't mean without sin, but striving to live a life uh, free of sin uh, and upright and one that fears God and that shews evil. Uh, and you know what? God blesses. Uh, he blesses everybody differently. And some of the blessings uh, that we will receive can't, aren't tangible. The, they aren't things you can hold in your hands. Some of the blessings that we will receive will be in eternity. Uh, and so I want to encourage you today, hey, let's not walk the way of the world and follow after all that the world has to offer. You know, Job was blessed in, in many of those areas. But, you know, uh, where the true blessing comes from is knowing that you're right with your God. Uh, and that ought to be the blessing that we seek, uh, that close relationship with Jesus Christ. Uh, and and that's, that's truly uh, where it's at. Now, Job... Tremendous family, tremendous house, tremendous possessions. Uh, let's look at verse number five. I want you to note here even, um, and this is pretty unique. I, I mean, I, I almost don't want to get into this because it's so good, and we might want to save it for tomorrow. But look at verse number five. And it was so when the days of their feasting uh, were gone about that Job, and so they, they've had this good time together as a family, uh, the Bephesian says that Job sent and sanctified them uh, and rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offering according to the number of them all. For Job said, it may be that, that my sons have sinned and cursed God their hearts. Thus did Job continually. Uh, we see here in verse number five, uh, Job's really uh, spirituality, we could say. Uh, but man, after that feasting, uh, Job, loving his family so much, uh, seeks to intercede on their behalf in God's eyes. He offers them, uh, we see in verse number five that he sanctified them, he set them apart, he consecrated them, uh, he offered burnt offering on their behalf. And here's what he says. We see this is his caring for his family. And let me tell you this. We all need to care for our family. We all need to intercede for our family uh, and be, be praying for our family. Uh, and we need to be sensitive to their needs spiritually. Look, it says, it may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Thus did Job continually. Job says, hey, I don't, I don't know maybe where their relationship with the Lord is, but man, I'm going to intercede on their behalf. I'm going to do all that I can to make sure that my children are successful in their relationship with the Lord. Uh, and as believers, that's what we need to do. It's not all about us. Yes, we need to have that right relationship with God. And we know that Job did. Job had that right relationship with the Lord. Uh, we see in verse number one. And because he was right, man, he was able to intercede on others' behalf. Uh, and, man, he cared about them spiritually. It wasn't a, hey, you need to do this. But rather, uh, he sought the Lord first uh, and prayed for them, interceded for them, offered sacrifice for them. Uh, and, and I want you to know this. This wasn't a one-time event. It wasn't a one-time, pray it up, call it good. But rather, thus did Job continually. Job uh, brought his family before the Lord continually. That's how much he cared about them spiritually. Listen, as parents, okay, uh, we care for our children in many ways. We care for them uh, uh, physically, man, we, we meet their needs with, with feeding them and uh, we have them involved in maybe different activities, wanting to see them uh, uh, grow and mature and all of that kind of stuff. Man, they, uh, they grow educationally, Lord willing, uh, and uh, the, in their knowledge they're growing, and physically they're growing, and mentally they're growing, and, and it's good to make sure that your children are doing that, that your family is doing that. But if we neglect spiritual growth, we are missing it completely. Listen, Job provided everything for his family. His family was well off, and Job was able to do so. Not everybody can do that, but we find that Job cared about their spiritual needs so much so that continually uh, he interceded on their behalf. Now, 
listen, you may not have the biggest, baddest house on the, on the block. Listen, you may not be able to buy uh, the things that you would love and desire to buy for your family. And you may not be able to go out to dinner and, and all those kinds of things, but you know what you can do? You can point them in the right direction by bringing them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord and then interceding on their behalf. Remain faithful in praying for them. Listen, the, the heritage that we have left behind, we're going to find here in Job, it's not all about the wealth. It's not all about the possessions. It's not all about the house. Because that can all be gone. That can all be lost. But a relationship with the Lord, that is eternal and lasts forever. And so, parents, hey, let's take a moment and let's reevaluate the direction that we are pointing our children in, the focus that we are, 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 have our children, uh, the thing that we have our children being focused on, is it that which lasts for eternity? Job, man, he was concerned about his children's spiritual well-being, uh, and he did this continually in verse number five, and we must do the same. Uh, and then, let me take it a step further, okay? Listen, uh, we all have, hopefully, you all have a church family that you're a part of. Uh, if you attend Calvary Baptist Church, you're a part of the church family. Hey, are you interceding uh, on your church family's behalf? Are you a blessing spiritually? Are you an encourager? Are you seeking to, uh, to be a help uh, to the church family? Uh, and or is it or is your life just consumed with the things of this world man we need to invest in the lives of others okay uh, I'm gonna leave you those couple of thoughts let me give you a, a few shout outs here uh, and welcome those of you who are commenting and watching live uh, good morning Brian and Cindy thank you for uh, being on appreciate your faithfulness of watching uh, Ingrid good morning to you have a great day love you uh, Cliff and Karen, thank you for being on as well. So appreciate that. Uh, and then uh, Paula, uh, good morning to you. Uh, and I am excited about the, the rock tonight, getting back at it, 6 o'clock. Uh, teenagers, uh, make sure you've got your verse memorized and your devotions done. Uh, kids, make sure that you've been uh, studying ahead. If you've got your books with you, uh, make sure that you're working ahead and ready to go uh, get those sections set for tonight. Look forward to hitting it hard uh, here. Uh, and uh, our, next, uh, our next break from The Rock really is uh, Thanksgiving week. Uh, and so look forward to hitting it hard the next six weeks or so. Uh, and so thank you, Paula, for that reminder. Shirley, good morning to you as well. Thank you for watching. Uh, Jean, good morning to you. Have an awesome day. Perry, good morning, and thank you for being on. Lee and Angie, good morning to you as well. Uh, David, good morning. Have yourself a great day. And Lynette, greetings to you uh, from uh, the rainy, wet northern Michigan to Arkansas. Greetings to you. All right. Uh, thank you all so much for being on. Lord bless you all. Lord willing, we'll see you tonight. Services at 6 o'clock. Uh, and hope to see you uh, then. Have a wonderful day.